two videos that he does and it kind of gives you a rundown. One is maybe 10 minutes long. It gives you a little bit more. First of all, you turn it on the same way, right? Yeah, turn it on the same <laughs> way. Uh, we, we carry the remote over here. The remote, all the remote does is turn it on and off. Um, it doesn't do anything else. It's just like the old remote. It's just a feed on and feed off. The, one, the, the, the best part about this machine is it's easy as one, two, three. That's all it is. So you pick what player level you have. Now, the easy play level only allows top side. You can't do any of the lower stuff with easy play le level, okay? The reason why is because they don't figure somebody that's uh, a lower player is gonna be able to hit top spin, back spin, you know, feeds. So um, it only gives you certain things. I don't even know if the moon ball, I, even, I think the moon ball might not even be in that list. Uh, medium gives you everything that you want. So it just depends on what you want to do. What I like about this is you could literally feed two lines in a clinic. That's what I was just showing Scott because he's a teaching pro and he's never seen one of these. So I told him, I was like, you choose medium. Okay. And then say you want to hit a rally ball and then a rally ball to that side. And then you want to hit a, a short low ball to each side. And then once they get to the net, you want to lob them. Okay. And then you can choose directions here after you've done those two things. Now it's all about uh, the first ball wide, the second ball wide, the third ball middle, middle of the box, fourth ball middle of the box. And then uh, since the wind's going this direction, I'll lob here and here. Okay. And then you have restart delays. The short restart delay, I think, is like four seconds. The medium is 10, and the long is a long time. It's like 20 seconds. So say if you're feeding two lines of people, um, uh, the short one gives people time to get out and go around and go back in line again. So if you're doing this yourself, it's just you and the ball machine. If it's just you and the ball machine, I wouldn't set it up this way. This is if I have at least two people right. out there. Right. If I have just two people out there, I'll probably do, a, you just have one person. a media delay. Well, if I just have one person, I would just do one thing. But so if I want to, just let me show you the two line feed. Okay. So if I want to feed two lines, it's going to give me, you know, two balls, uh, then two short balls, and then it's going to give me two lobs. And then it's going to wait. It's a medium delay, so it's going to oh, wait so before. it's a it's a delay between so the you, series of yeah, shots. So then it, then it starts. I up again. see. So it gives you time to get back and start over again. Does that make sense? Yes. Nice, yes. So, okay. so let's just say you're out here by yourself, and let me clear the platforms here. And you just want to you just want to work on one thing. Yes. Say you just want to work on say. You're playing this person in singles, and all they give you is moon balls. You hate it. Yes. Then you would maybe do uh, medium moon ball, and then you can choose where your feet is in these positions here. There's seven positions to choose from. Say you want to work on moon balls to your backhand, then you would choose that. Okay. And uh, you can do as many as you want on the feed, and then if you just if you just press it one time. It's just going to continue to do that same thing. So if I start feeding, it's just going to give me a moon ball feed. And I can change the... So it's, it's awfully fast. Feed rate is 60. I have it feeding for two. Feed rate should be about 35 for one person. Let's try okay. that again. 35 for one. So that gives you one feed. And then the second right. feed. So the feed rate... How you figure out the feed rate is... If like if I sent you over there to hit the ball, as soon as it passes the ball machine, I want it to feed the next ball. So I would adjust the feed rate based on how hard you're hitting that. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. So yes. a lot of times it takes two people to figure it out. Unless you figured it out, then you know what to set everything on. When the return comes past. Right. The, the, as soon as the return passes this ball machine, got it. then the next feed would happen. What happens if it doesn't return? <laughs> It's out of balls. <laughs> <laughs> what, if, what if I miss the shot and I don't get it past the first baseline? Oh, I'm just saying when you set the, the feed timing, rate up, yeah. the timing is all yep. set up based on oh, that. Okay. It doesn't so, matter what I do. No, it doesn't matter what you do. Well, that's the old way. Yes. Can, so, you, can you tell me, uh, John, 
like setting medium versus hard, like so how I'll, would the moon balls compare? Two so, players hitting moon balls. So one sets at medium, one sets so at hard. So I, I open this up for you so you can see. This is pre-programmed down here. Mm -hmm. So look at easy. Look at the oh, speed. Oh, I see. Okay. Look at medium. Now the speed went from 41 to 47. Now look at hard. 42. It went to 42. Uh, hide over the net higher. And look, you got spin also. Oh. You got top spin now. So say I, I want see. to say I want to do a rally ball. Look at my speed, how it jumped up to 83. Yes. Okay. Yes. Does that does that make sense? Yes. So let me clear that. So look, in at, other look words, at a moon ball. Uh, so look, medium moon ball is at 41. Look at the height. So a hard moon ball. It's 50, lower. A hard moon ball would be. Um, would be a little bit lower, lower, lower a little bit more speed. But look faster. at the how, look at how much yeah. top spin's yeah, on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. the top spin on the on the on the moon ball doubles for the hard versus the medium. So this is kind of a shortcut if you don't want to use any of the right. controls. So it, these, it, controls, it, these controls, these um, controls, maybe narrow the spread angle. This this makes the spread angle even more narrow. Yeah. Like right now, if uh, let me let me clear it again. Let me do medium. If I want to put a ball say way out there to the right mm -hmm. just a rally ball medium look at the top spin's only 10. Mm. see that yeah so if i want to put that out it's going to put it out in that alley see that that's a medium you see that mm -hmm. so um if i want to go if i want to go um well let's do that same thing what did i do a rally ball out there medium rally ball Say I want to edit this shot mm -hmm. and give it more top spin. Oh. I can I can I can now give it more top spin to the same shot. See the difference? Yes. So I can change I can change each shot and then I can say done on my edit and it's and it edits that shot. This all is your editing board. So, um, let's just say, and I was showing him, let's just say you want to work on, um, you want to work on, you're having problems with somebody hitting a you know, low slice to your forehand. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll go medium backspin. Uh, let's go to the forehand. So we'll go over here. Okay. And this is just the general backspin. Let's mm -hmm. see what it, let's see where it puts it. So that's pretty deep, right? Right. So if I want to see it go shorter, I'm going to lower the height to, from 16 to 10. And I'll do it again. Let's see what it does. That's a pretty nasty yeah, ball. Yeah, that's it? a nasty yeah. ball. That's not, that's not easy. So, you know, that's all about the speed. I can lower the speed down, say, to 55, but make it a little shorter. Uh, oh, yeah. Not so much. not by much. Yeah, you can see. You, can, you might have to drop it even more to make it shorter. So you can really hone in on specific shots with this machine that you can't do with the other machine. You know, uh, you can change, you can say you have somebody that hits a top spin one time and a back spin the next time and you hate that. So say, um, let's clear up this pattern. Let's say done editing here. We'll go medium, uh, top spin and backspin and let's say we're gonna go uh one here and one here all right let's see what it, what it looks like i'll do the feed rate for a single person so you're gonna get top spin one time then the very next ball you're gonna get backspin not from so, back there probably so i would lower the height on those by the way and try it again well, so that's medium. Those balls are pretty fast. For medium, they're they're moving along pretty well. We're into the wind. Yep. So you know. Well, the medium is the med is the speed of the ball based down here, not up here. The speed of the ball is is programmed into the medium. So I I'm lower the speed of. Yeah, you, you edit the shot. So I'm editing the topspin shot to go lower height. And 
and more spin. Oh, I want it slower. Yeah, I'll go speeder. slower. Okay. How about that? Uh, looks like one of my shots. So, <laughs> and I'll hit done, and then I'll edit the next shot, backspin, and I'll make that a little slower, a little less height, with a lot more spin also. And then I'll hit done, and then we'll see what it looks like. Heavy top spin. Oh, literally, look how short it went. And then that one. That's pretty nasty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah especially after you hit the first. Yeah, you hit the first one. Then the yeah. second one's gonna be a volley. Right. The next second one, you're gonna try to take it out of the air as a volley because it's coming so fast. So, you know, and there are people that do that kind of stuff. The, the guy down there on on, uh, on court fourth and that, he's famous for hitting a top spin ball and then chopping it, mm. and it's, it comes low, hard at your feet. So, you know, those are the kind of things you can work on. Yeah. Um, your volleys, your high short ball, your your low short ball. So if you're looking to work on volleys, for instance, mm -hmm. um, and you just want to go, um, say, uh, medium, uh, high short, low short, high short, low short, four balls, and we'll work it from middle to left, middle to left, middle to left, and you can start that and. It's just feeding for one person. So these are all volleys. That's a little sitter. This is a harder one, lower one. And then another sitter. And then, so and you can and you can and you can play with these too if you don't like the way they're looking. No, they're not going left right though. No, they're 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 not moving much. Okay. So you know if you I wanted to you could change it down here, the width there. Yeah, I could change I could change my width okay. to um to here, 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 instead, and see what that does. So there's your middle, and then that one's gonna be farther left. So, you know, I John, can- could you just, so what you did, each time you I pressed cleared, clear pattern, so right. that, that clears this, correct the, the, the width, and then you just did it from, you know you got four I know balls. I have six, uh, four six. balls to, you, I had six. Oh, I had six. So you yeah. know you have to press it six times correct. to tell it, got it. Right. Okay. Got it. And um, like I said, and you can put delays between balls. Say, say it takes longer to lob. So, say if you decide to do, say you, you decide to do, um, hold on. Let's clear everything out here. Let's say you decide to do um, a, a medium, um, high short ball. Okay, then a lob and then a low short ball. And you go one, two, three, we'll just do all three in the same spot, okay? Mm -hmm. And if I feed that at the regular feed rate, you're gonna get that, you can run in and get this, and then boom, you get lobbed, you get to run back, and then all of a sudden, here comes that next ball. So say that ball is coming too fast for you, you can edit, you can go in and edit a shot, the low short ball, and put a delay on it, uh, you know, a short delay to give you some to time. give you some time after you hit the overhead to recover to recover to get that ball, right. and then I can hit done on that. And now when I think that it's going to give me that the high short ball, the lob. And now it's going to give me an extra delay on that. See? Yeah. Does that make sense? Yes. So it gives you a lot of options you do. You can um, simulate a point. You absolutely can. You could Beyond literally. Sim, it's, you can do a seven shot simulation of a point just on this board. Amazing. Yeah. So if, if I understand correctly, what you're doing is you, you're obviously starting out with a level. And then based on how many times you press these buttons is how many balls are in the exactly. cycle. Exactly. And you can only do okay. seven. Up so to seven. Up got to seven. It, got it. And then the direction, you got seven directions. Menu, seven directions. And you can do right. seven different directions if you want. Got it. Yeah. You said one, two, three. One, two, three. That's exactly yeah. right. Yeah. Gee, I caught up. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> so, um, let me ask you. So I, I read and heard something about drills and having certain pet. Let's say you have that seven-shot cycle, mm -hmm. and you say that's great. That's a great drill. So, if and you, you want to save that, you want to be able to. So you can only do that on the app okay. or an iPhone. All right. So you got to buy the app's ninety-nine cents. Um, I don't, 
Hold on. Jimmy. We don't have iPhone. What's the name of the iPhone app for this? Right. Like My Drills. Okay. Oh. Like My Drills is the app that's for this. And you can do up to 16 shots on the iPhone. You can program okay. up to 16 shots. But he said, that's what he said. Thank you. You can program up to 16 shots. So you could literally do two lines with eight shots in, a, in, in each one if you wanted to do it. I mean, okay. that's how easy you could. Or you could do three lines um, with uh, uh, a three ball drill. I mean, mm -hmm. you, could, I mean you, could do so, whatever, you could do a whole lot of other things with it. It's pretty amazing. What it, the, the app gives you a lot more flexibility. You can save that drill in the app, share it with somebody else that has that app. And they can come out here and you just use the app to start it. You would not use this board. Oh, nice. The app goes right into here. It'll, it shows when you're connected to the machine okay. directly in the app. So He's got in app, a club, but... is it possible to, for more than one person to have the app? And then everybody can have the to, app. So you, players, yeah. individual players mm -hmm. can have the app. And they can a come a out player and... could, could have that drill. Oh, that's my seven point. Oh, seven I shot. like that drill. Can you send it to me? Boom, boom. Yeah. It's sound. And, and so they come in, and, 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 and because then, it picks up their phone yeah, as soon as with you this. To the, to the, as soon as you connect Bluetooth to this, it Bluetooths right from your phone into it. Got it, got it, got it. Pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that is amazing. So, is it too soon to know maintenance on this versus other? Uh, oh, every time. Now, I change the balls every 60 days. I'm a little bit weird about that because I think once the balls start wearing down, you start getting jams in the machine. So you can probably stretch it to 75 to 90 days. Um, I use only the hardcore pro pens because they last the longest. Um, and they don't really, once they've gone through the machine once or twice, they don't get wet. When I take the balls out and replace them with new balls, I literally take a blower into this machine, blow everything out of it, uh, wipe down what I can, that got dusty with the clay. You can see the field on this side. When you're looking in, the wheels collect dust on them. Yeah. I wouldn't stand directly in front. Not, not oh. that I'm going to hit the button or anything. <laughs> okay. But probably ought to turn it off to do that. But you'll see, see how quiet it is? Very quiet. Yeah. Super quiet. It's unbelievable. The other one, it sounded like a train was coming. Yeah. <laughs> so those wheels collect dust and Periodically, I'll come out here with a, a towel with my finger, and as after I turn it off, I would stick it in there and just as it's, it's knock, turning, as it's turning, just knock the dust out of it. Um, blow the blower works the best. So once you get this, I I don't really turn it over. I kind of turn up, turn it up. Jimmy blows it out, then I he blows it from this side, then I'll flip it up this way and have him blow underneath, and then we'll do it. We'll hit it probably for ten minutes with the blower. To, to clean it all out before we put the new tennis balls in it. Okay. And then it it they should last 10, 15 years. I can tell you that when I worked at Breckenridge, the, the two ball machines at Breckenridge are still there. And I've been here 11 years and they were, one of them was four years old and one was 10 years old at the time. They both still work. And they were iGenies? No, they weren't oh, IGs. They were oh, just Playmates. Oh, Playmate. Another, yeah, they model. were the old version. Yeah. They didn't have all the fancy stuff yeah. on it, you know where you just, you feed one type of ball, that was it. You don't get topspin back. Well, you get topspin or backspin, but not not to, not to in consecutive shots. That's what's amazing about this one. You could hit one topspin and the next one's backspin. The next one could be a moon ball. Right. The next one could be a short volley. That's just, to, in order, there's six motors in here to do that. Because you can't have just two, uh, two motors, well, there's a motor that's turning, and then there's five motors that, control the pat the, the ball spinning coming ball. out yeah and if i caught what you were saying you were saying you use hard court balls i assume because the they're lower extra duty. less right so they're they're because, they're a tighter weave on the outside because if you use soft court balls they'll they'll look like bald eagles within a, three weeks the hard court balls has a much tighter um and you know if your courts are wet I'd be careful with the hardcore balls. I use them, I keep my courts pretty dry here. Uh, we don't, you know, they don't collect moisture very mm -hmm. often. Explain to me what you meant when you said, uh, uh, please, you'd be worried about playing wet clay 
with a hard cork ball. If the balls get wet and you put a wet ball in here and it goes through the system, that water gets into the system. You don't want, like if it starts to rain, you gotta get it out of the rain fast. Right. You really should really wipe it down after that. Pull the balls out, let the balls dry separately. Uh, water is probably, even though it's sealed, so I don't know if you can see this unit here is your computer unit. Mm -hmm. And it ties to a unit that's underneath here. And this goes into this unit right here. Okay. So um, these are sealed. This one down here on the underside, not so much. Okay. And that's your motherboard down there. And it's about 2,200 bucks if you have to replace it. This has got this is the top of the line model. Nobody is even close to it in any other ball machine maker. And there's no other ball machine that does what this one will do. It's amazing. And if you have a stand, you can have it served too, and it'll go up to about 100 <laughs> miles an hour on the serve. Wow. They, they make a stand for it, which you, you roll it up on the stand and it raises it up. And then. Um, you, uh, I think we had a match at Legends. Somebody had it up. Legends there. has one as a stand. It was way up. Yeah. And then wow. they can fire the ten. And, and I didn't it, realize it was the same. And it does, it does, it does, it does top spin, back spin. Um, That's crazy. It's pretty, pretty amazing. That's crazy. Yeah. So yeah, Legends has has the has the lift. They have so much money. Yeah. Todd's got like four machines. Wait, did you have a question? Mm -hmm. I don't. You bought your racket. Do you want to hit a couple? I do. Well, jump over there. What, what, well, let's see what you want to hit. Or do you want me to tease you? Oh. You said you were a 3 0, right? Yeah. So I know what about a 3 0 would want. So, oh, I need to turn it on. Be nice for a I'm not going to be mean. <laughs> My gosh, you guys think I'm going to be mean? Don't be mean. <laughs> Just stand right there. No pressure, Gwen, but it's all being captured on video. Yeah. yeah. Being uploaded to the internet where it'll be there forever. And what are these, John? What, did you, what are you giving? Rally ball, rally ball, short high ball, and rally ball. The short high ball is more... So I didn't give you any rest between the four shots I gave you. I let them just roll, keep rolling through. So that was no delay. There was no delay on that. So and those are all those are all easy. The speed was forty five on that. Okay. And you said it can go up to what eighty or something. The speed when I say forty five is probably running uh, probably running in the low forties once it bounces. Yeah, the 45 is the speed. Uh, it'll go up to 100. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> I can give you one if you want to see what it looks like. Or you, maybe you won't see it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll stay right there. Let's clear the pattern. Let's give you some, uh, let's give you some uh, volleys. Oh, I got to go to medium. Hold on. That's an example of what you were saying. There's no such thing as an easy volley, right? No such thing as an easy volley. On the machine. All right. I'll give you a little delay after the four shots. You ready? Okay. Oh, get closer. There you go. There we go. Oh, that's the one we like. <laughs> There's a little delay. Uh, I think it's four seconds. Then we'll feed you again. There you go. This will give you different types of volleys. Yeah. We'll give you a little center here, and then another fast one right at you. There you go. And then you delay. So you know I can take the delay off, and and it'll just give you uh, a plethora of shots. Same four shots. Right? The same four shots in the same order. Correct. But at least it'll give you some variety in what your, your feeds are. Notice that last feed's right at you. Use the backhand there instead of the forehand. That one right at you, just use a backhand. That's good. That's the one right there. There we go. 
last run, I'll let you do your half. Your, there you go. Let's have your fun, your fun one. So wow. that gives you some variety up there. I only, I kept the the feeds either one side of you or the other. Yeah. Okay. I didn't make you run too far in any direction. Does that make sense? And so, and and I and that was just high short and low short ball. By the way, easy won't let me do that. It'll only let me do rally or moon ball, and probably oh. lob. Okay. So that was medium. So that. That feed rate was about 48. Nice. Or speed. Or the feed rate, yeah, speed, speed. The speed. Yeah. Yeah, the speed was about 48. Your feed rate was 35, which I could have sped that up just a little bit for you because you're at the debt and you're hitting that. Um, it just depends on how much, how fast you want that ball coming to you. Mm. Yeah. So. And the wind. And, yeah, you know, well, the we have yeah, a lot yeah. of wind today. Yeah. I got to tell you one story. John, thank you so, Joe, so much. Yeah, um, uh, Dick, uh, thank you, thank you so much for setting this up. It really was very helpful.